area. So let's get to it and start off with developing that key piece of land across from the Somerset collection. And it is going to be a jump start for that area. The University of Michigan Health just got the okay from the U of M Board of Regents to buy seven acres of that property from Forbes for $4.4 million. Of course, that is not the entire property, just a part of it. You know, the demo of the old Kmart building, it started back in November. They have made great progress, as you can see there from this video. And we took this just just about an hour or so ago. All right, so here are the details. U of M Health plans to build a multi-specialty facility. They want to expand their specialty clinical services, including a surgery center here. It would be the first of its kind in Oakland County for Michigan Medicine to both serve existing patients who maybe drive from Oakland, Wayne, Macomb counties to Washtenaw County to their campus in Ann Arbor. The goal is to break ground sometime next year on this facility and then to open it by 2027. There have to be a lot of steps made before that happens, but that's the preliminary message. Of course, new jobs, new providers, staff, and technicians for this facility in Troy. Take a listen. We are early in some of our program planning and don't have an ability to, go, to give you a lot of details as to what's gonna be in that facility, but I will tell you that our focus will be on adult subspecialty care, and in particular, it will be inclusive of of multi-specialty, multidisciplinary cancer care, uh, inclusive of our uh, ability to build out ambulatory surgical capabilities at this new site. This announcement uh, that we're making today is very much in line with our ongoing commitment and our goal of building out a, a highly coordinated, integrated statewide system of care that really has the goal of, of meeting patients in their community and, and helping keep keep care close to home so patients don't have to travel when there isn't a need to do so. Last year, there were more than 180,000 patients that came to receive care at Michigan Medicine from Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties. And that doesn't include the children who received advanced pediatric specialty care through our pediatric partnership with uh, Trinity Health in, in Trinity, Oakland. Um, but as many patients has come from this region to get their care with us now, we know there are many more who would like to get their care with Michigan Medicine. But that just isn't practical for them, either because of the travel distance or, frankly, the challenges with access and wait times uh, for appointments with our providers in Washington and Livingston counties. Um, as one example, we get many requests from patients who are diagnosed with cancer and seek second opinions for their treatment with us. But when it comes to then making those multiple trips, for example, for a series of radiation therapies or, or medical infusions, it's just simply not practical for them to come to Ann Arbor. So we're really excited for the opportunity to improve access and bring specialty services, services like these closer to the communities of Southeast Michigan. Joining me now to talk about the impact of all of this is Oakland County Executive Dave Coulter. All right, Dave, it's good to see you. Great to see you as well on a very exciting day here in Oakland. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when we got news that uh, it's going to be Michigan Medicine who's going to be developing that corner there in Troy, and I, I don't think it can be understated enough that that is a key part of, of, you know, the economy here in Oakland County, and everyone's been wondering what's going to be going in that place. For almost two decades, it's been vacant, and uh, there's been a lot of ideas over the years, and I know Nate Forbes uh, with Somerset has been working to get just the right partner, and uh, I think he hit a home run today. I'm, I'm thrilled that U of M Health is going to uh, be bringing their services to Oakland County. I think this is a win for the county and certainly for our residents uh, who, you know, almost 300,000 of them travel to Ann Arbor now to, to use the services of U of M Health. So the, the, the idea that they'll be able to get, the, you know, get those services right here in Troy uh, is a huge win for our residents. Talk a little bit about how this transforms really the face of the Big Beaver Corridor in, in Troy um, in terms of, you know, Forbes selling it, foregoing retail, because there have been so many other plans for what that space, that footprint might end up being. Yeah, and, you know, Troy has done a really wonderful job with developing that corridor. And you've got retail and you've got restaurants and entertainment. Uh, and you have some health providers there as well, right? There's a specialty center for, for children's hospital right down the street. But, it, but this kind of project, I think, is a, is a perfect complement for that corridor. And for Oakland County, you know, one out of every subs in Oakland County is in the health sector. So 
we have, you know, it's, it's a huge part of our economic development strategy here in Oakland County, and it complements our overall strategy and I think what the city of Troy has been doing with that corridor over the last couple decades. You know, I, can you talk a little bit about has there been any kind of economic subsidies from the from the county wise for this or anything that you can share about the deal? Uh, no, and the county isn't typically the provider of those subsidies, so that would be state or federal or others, so you'd have to ask them, but uh, we've encouraged them, and of course, you know, we've leaned in on the health sector and really tried to be supportive, uh, but no, no direct county subsidies are going to this project. All right, and what can you say then to, uh, you know, the people of Troy who have, again, watched this space, what they can expect to see and, and really take advantage of in the next couple of years? You know, when this is, when this is complete, if you're somebody that used to go to, to Ann Arbor for these services, the, the, you know, the benefit is obvious. Also, don't forget, there are thousands of medical professionals, doctors and nurses, and all, right on down the line, who also make that commute to Ann Arbor, who will be closer to home now, will have more convenient access uh, to U of M Health Services. So I think it's a win, again, not just for the residents of Troy, but for throughout Oakland County. Uh, health, the, health in, the healthcare industry is huge here. We currently have five health systems operating in the county, so we welcome U of M Health uh, to all the other great providers here in the county. Yeah, you know, your comment really makes me think about the ripple effect of housing in Oakland County as well. If you'll see people moving here or then other developments around this center um, that people will be able to take advantage of and use once they're coming here for their treatment. You absolutely will. A development of this scale will have spinoff uh, components to it that we can't even predict today, but we know, we know we'll want to be near a specialty center like this. And so I think it's just, you know, it, it, the benefits of this will just continue. But this is, it starts with this announcement and I, I couldn't be more happy. Yeah, I know. We can't uh, wait to see what's next. Dave Coulter, Oakland County Executive, it's always good to see you. State of the County next week? A week from today, next Thursday, uh, down in Farmington. Stay tuned for other great announcements. All right, sounds good. We'll catch up with you then. Thanks so much. Thank you. It's a really big development piece when you take a look at it. But again, um, the seven acre parcel that Michigan Medicine is going to be purchasing from Forbes for $4.4 million is just part of that entire area when you look at that video. So you can only think of what Forbes might also be developing around in that area. That's, of course, the next questions that we're going to be asking throughout the afternoon. We're going to have the more on this story for you on Local 4 News at 5 and 6 o'clock tonight. But really um, the start of a big um, economic development process there on the corner of Big Beaver and Coolidge in Troy.